Hi everyone. In today's DIY projects, we'll be crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For our first project, we're going to be using these macrame rings and we'll be recreating this metal ring sculpture. I'm going to be using eight rings and I'll just use a small amount of my hot glue to join them together and I'll space them out about three quarters of an inch and I'm just using a small amount of my hot glue and I'll attach each one. Just try to space them out evenly. I'll join four of them together, then I'll join the next four and then attach both sides. Now that's looking nice and neat. To make it a little stronger, we're going to be using our Gorilla Wood Glue. And I'm just using a small amount with some water to water it down. And then I'll brush it on the creases and also around the rings. And this will make our piece look a little bit shinier when it's time to spray paint it. For my spray paint, I'm going to be using my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold and I'm just giving it one coat. Here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our next project. For this project, we're using a wine carafe from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be cutting it down to size. And I'm using my soldering iron. And I'll be cutting it to the size of a cylinder vase. And to help me to get the cut straight, I'm using a rubber band. And I'm just placing the rubber band going right around the carafe. And I'm taping the rubber band in place and then I'll use my exacto knife to carve the piece out. Now I'll remove the rubber band and attach both pieces together. And the carafe will be sitting right over the lip of the vase, just like so. And then I'll use my strong adhesive to hold both of them together. Just place it on the surface, make sure it's straight. And you can also use a level to help to make sure that it's straight. I'll be taking it outside to spray paint it and before I do so, I'm going to um, clean it with my alcohol. I attempted to spray paint it. I'm not sure what happened to my spray paint that day, but it left particles on my vase. My plan was to make an elegant vase and add a gold trim in the center. But because of this mishap with the spray paint, I went ahead and used my dap orange peel and I'm going to be making something more rustic. After the dap orange peel was dry, then I started to spray paint my vase. And for my spray paint, I'm using my Rust-Oleum Copper. Here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our next project. For this project, I'm going to be using PVC pipes. Half inch PVC pipe. I previously used these pieces. I have them cut to 12 inches to 22 inches long and I'm going to be making a wall decoration. I'm just putting my pieces together in a staggered design and making sure that I have at least 8 inches in the center. Then I'm going to use my hot glue to join them together and the hold with the hot glue is just temporary. I'll make sure to use my strong adhesive before I'm done. If you like at least one of these projects so far, please help to support my channel by giving me a thumbs up 
Another way that you can support my channel is by leaving me a comment. It doesn't have to be an entire sentence, just one word is good enough. Another way that you can support my channel is by sharing the video. Just share it with one contact in your phone. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Now I'm flipping my design over and I'm adding more hot glue and I'm also adding my strong adhesive to the tips. After my adhesive was dry, I took it outside and I spray painted it white with my Rust-Oleum white gloss. I'm also going to be using balloon sticks. I'm just cutting the tips from my balloon sticks. Then I'll use my hot glue to glue them down to a piece of poster board. That way I can spray paint them. For my spray paint, I'm going to be using my black matte rust -oleum. Now they're dry, I'm going to be attaching them. I'm using my strong adhesive and my hot glue and I'm just placing each one in the seams. I'm also using some wooden dowels and I'll spray paint them with my Rust-Oleum Gold and I'll just place them in random areas just to add some gold to my design. Now to hook my wall decor on the wall, I'm going to be using picture frame hooks and I'm using one hook on each side. I pre-drill the holes for my screw and then I place my hooks on the back. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to the next project. For this project, I'm making a wall decoration. For this project, I'm using two beaded wreaths. And I'm also using a 20 by 20 canvas. I'm going to be spray painting my beads. But before I do so, I'm going to use my wood glue. And I'll add some water to get it runny. And then I'll just prime the beads before I spray paint them. For my spray paint, I'm going to be using my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold. Now they're dry. I'm just going to use my pliers and open the hook 
so I can loop them together. That way I can hide the hook. Then I'll use my hot glue to attach my reed to my canvas and go ahead and use a strong adhesive for this section. I spray painted just one side of my wreath since the other side will not be showing. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our next project. This project was a project that I shared previously. I think it deserved a rerun. So here we go. For this project, I'm going to be using spoons and I'm just breaking the handles off and I'll spray paint each spoon with my frosted gloss. I ended up changing the paint to a silver paint for my spoons to stand out more and you'll see what I mean in the end. I'm also using foam balls and tomtacks from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be placing my tomtack going right around on the foam ball just to make a design for the center of my spoons. And here's how they look. I'm going to be making six of them. I'm going to be using these gold frames from the Dollar Tree. I'm removing the backing. Go ahead and use your strong adhesive for this project and replace the glass. Now we have six of them. I'm going to show you how to do one and you can do the rest if you decide to make this project. I'm just using my hot glue to glue down the spoons and I'm pointing each one to each corner. And then I'll place this part on the center. Now here's how they look. They're not standing out as much as I want them to. So I'm going to take them off and spray paint them. To hook these wall decorations on the wall, I'm going to be using Velcro strips. Just place one on each side. And this is the spray paint that I use to spray paint on the inside of the spoons. And then I use my strong adhesive to put them back in place. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let me know which project was your favorite this week and if you'll be recreating any of them. If you missed last week's video, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave and share this video with someone that you think may be interested. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.